Talk to Lou Rockwell, chairman of the Ludwig von Mises Institute, which defends the free market. Hi there, good evening. What's it to be, default or a, a last-minute salvation here? What do you think? Well, I wouldn't call it a salvation, Kevin, <laughs> but I, I think there probably will be a last-minute a last minute deal. I'd like to see a default. It's the only way we're ever going to get a balanced budget that forces the government to live on its income and stop borrowing. It's far too much borrowing by the American government. Really, everybody in American society is too much in debt. We need less debt. And if we want less debt, the only way we'll ever get these birds to do it in Washington is just, you know, don't raise the debt ceiling. Well, I'm sure many people agree with you, but the knock-on implications would be horrendous, wouldn't they, for not only America, but no. the rest of the world, too, if that happened? It would be wonderful. The idea that the whole world is sustained by growing American debt, that there has to be more and more borrowing in order to, you know, make everybody prosperous. It doesn't work, by the way. Unemployment rates are at horrific rates all over the, rest of the Western world. None of us feel comfortable economically. We're all worried about the future. The government is, is, uh, is harming us. So the idea that you know, less government is somehow harmful, it's just the reverse. This is, of course, Keynesianism, that we have to have more government, more spending, more debt perpetually, and that'll make us all wealthy. No, it doesn't. It helps the banksters. It helps the government helps the military industrial complex and you know all the big companies associated with the government. It hurts regular people. So we want an end to the debt and we want much less spending. I'd like an end to the spending, but unfortunately that's not gonna come. But there's a slight chance that we might see an end to the debt. Uh, come uh, 48 hours, if there is no agreement, uh, central banks are making contingency plans around the world to, to try and shore themselves up. Could they actually um, uh, protect against the worst of the fallout here if it does happen? Well, first of all, the government does a huge amount of spending that's so-called off-budget. It's not part of the budget, so it's not affected, you know, not affected by a, a lot of these, these alleged restrictions. That goes on. And of course, why do they need to tax anybody? Why do they need to borrow the money? Why doesn't uh, Ben Bernanke just print it all? I mean, we're told that this is wonderful for us, quantitative easing. Why don't they, uh, you know, quintuple quantitative easing? and uh, just handle everything that way. Mm. Uh, so it, you, you can't believe anything they say. Uh, it's a good, you know, the old, it's the old British saying, never believe anything till it's been officially denied. I think that's, that's, I don't think we should believe the Republicans or the Democrats. They don't have the people's best interest at heart. They only have the, themselves and the special interest. Lou, while you're on the line, it's interesting, when the economic crisis was raging in the Eurozone, Obama and Congress both had a lot to say on the matter. We've got a clip uh, from Obama from a couple of years ago. Let's take a quick listen. We're going through uh, a financial crisis that is scaring the world, uh, and uh, they're trying to take responsible actions, but uh, those actions haven't been quite as quick as they need to be. The biggest headwind the American economy is facing right now is uncertainty about Europe, because it's affecting global markets. Well, and the shoe's now back on the other foot. Why should he be taking a bit more of his own advice there? Begs the question, no, Lou? Well, it's always somebody else's fault, right? It's not his fault. It's not the American government's fault. It's, you know, those guys in, those guys in Europe. So the, the, the nation that's fundamentally at fault for the trouble in the world is the U.S. government. It's got the biggest economy. It's got the biggest debt, the biggest spending, the biggest military, all the wars it's, it's waging. If they really are worried about, you know, they don't have enough money, why don't they sh shut down the NSA and stop spying on everybody? Why don't they bring the troops home from Afghanistan and Iraq and Yemen and Pakistan and all the rest of these places? Stop killing people. That would save a quadrillion dollars. That would solve all the budget problems. That's my advice to uh, Mr. Obama. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who would say what you're saying makes perfect sense there. Lou Rockwell, thank you for your time. Chairman of the Ludwig von Mises Institute. Appreciate it. Thank you, Kevin.